Oh, there's Alphanard. Uh, again, don't know if his voice acted again. If it is, no, it's not. Hey, Tartaru, when's he? When's she gonna come in? Now accessible. Oh, so you're there at the dungeon then now. Yep, I just unlocked it. Well, I don't know how long it's going to take me to get there, but uh, we'll see. I couldn't even tell you which uh, mission I'm on at the moment. <laughs> I think it's... I think you're uh, on Lies, something... Damn Lies, and Pirates yeah, or something. I was going to say something, something, and Pirates. That's all I could remember. Yeah, you're pretty close. You got um, any races coming up, dude? Uh, not in the immediate future. Oh, you, no. X4, isn't it? That's your next one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. That's not till like early April, so. Oh, for that is a while off. Yeah. And that's provided I don't sign up for any sooner that has something comes up that I might want to join, but. Right now, nothing is a build, so. Like I said, I know I have to Pokemon. It's Sonic CD, so. Yeah. I'm, doing, I'm gonna do that one. Let's say if I do get the pick from that, I'll be picking Pokemon Gold and Silver, so. Ooh. <laughs> How much you want to bet Gold to pick Chikorita as his starter? <laughs> the worst fucking Pokemon you can choose for that early game. <laughs> yeah. To be fair, yeah, Kyrie... I tell you, if I were go do a gold silver run and through, it would definitely not be my starting pick. Oh, I'm like, you could make an argument for either Cyndaquil or Torladile, but um, Chikorita, no. Yeah, no. Like I said, the only problem with Bulbasaur in Gen One was it took so long for you to actually get a decent Grass type move. Yeah, that's what people say. Well, it's good early. Yeah, once you get the great grass move for it it is but it is the like problem it. you've got tackle and leech seed, which again you could whittle yeah. it down but if you actually want an offensive attack move like I said I think Vine Whip's level 13 so you are going to have to wait a little while and grind a bit yeah like, to be fair Charmander's not bad for leveling because of all the bugs in Viridian Forest but it's useless against Brock yeah it's, it's even hard worse to against Brock with a fire t yeah yeah Charmander's a rough start, but a, a strong, pretty much a strong finisher, because down the line you've got, well, Erica, I mean, you can just annihilate her gym. You've got, um, well, further down, maybe with the, well, no, that's ground, the last one, but. Yeah, Blast Toys is. Blast, or, uh, obviously, against Brock, Blast, well, uh, Squirtle's great. Uh, you yep. can. Pretty, as long as you use decent tactics, you're not going to have any issues with Misty. Yeah, I, I actually gave War Turtle Dig, so even Lieutenant Surge wasn't a massive issue. Yeah, um, obviously he can be with the whole electric overwater thing. Oh yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. I mean, obviously if he gets a good hit on you, you're fucked. But if you've got Dig, which you'll have anyway, it's a, it's a super effective move against electric types. Uh, Erica, yeah, I, got... I remember Erica being an issue. Yeah. But uh, I, even that, I was able to uh, overcome. Oh, yeah. Cause I got, I, I, did I get Ice Beam? Yeah, I got Ice Beam. That's how I beat Erica. Okay, yeah, so you were able to get Ice Beam, yeah. Yeah. You, only have, you have to give the girl the uh, the water at the top of the, um, uh, the Pokemon. Yeah. So you get it in Gen 1. Yeah, and even later on, too, with 
Well, eventually by then you'll have blast toys for Blame can pretty much wash him away. Uh, one shot Blame, really, pretty yeah. much with all my stuff. Um, I don't actually. I don't. Your body can freaking murder him too. I, I don't actually bother with hydro pump. I just use surf because it's better. It's better accuracy. Yeah, I don't it's blame not, you. It's better accuracy and it's not that much weaker. So. Yeah. Right. And yeah, our, surf is the better move just because you know it, the accuracy is what you really need. Because yeah, hydro pump just misses too many times. Uh, just and, finish the quest, by the way. Okay. Uh, starting tales from the far east. Yep. So yeah. I believe the one after that quest is the one where you unlock the dungeon, so... Maybe. Um, what, what was he saying? Um, yeah, like, Giovanni's no problem. The only two I can see being a problem for the race is Sabrina. Who yeah. I'll probably leave until as late as I can. And, of course, Koga's not going to be a massive, massive issue. Uh, as long as I bring in some antidotes and stuff. I've, at least I did a yeah. practice run. I managed to beat it in an hour and 33 from the point we've stopped at, but... Um, what was the other? Oh yeah, I was planning to capture, go out my way to capture Zap though, just for Lorelei of the Elite Four. Because yeah. here's the thing, I couldn't come up with a decent, like apart from using Earthquake or Dig, I couldn't actually come up with a decent way for my Blast Toys to easily beat her. So I thought, you know what, fuck it, I'll just, I'll, I'll take five, yeah. ten minutes out of my time, go capture that Zap dose, teach it Thunderbolt, and fuck it, I've, I can, I can deal yeah. with her that way. That's my plan, yeah. anyway. Yeah, yeah, Lorelei, yeah, yeah, Bruno with his... Well, his two axes, Blastoise can handle easily, and then... Oh, Blastoise can just... handle that fine. Yeah. Uh, Agatha, I'll probably have one or two issues, but I won't be too bad. Lance, as long as I've got Ice Beams ready, shouldn't be too much of an issue, and then you just got the champion, which, again, I, I can usually fight my way around, so I'm not too fussed. It's just yeah. one or two battles that are going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah. Alright, so I need to head to Revenant's Toll now. Yep. Yeah. Back to Mordona. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the fucking... Can I please zoom in? Hopefully you're not going to be there for too long. I'm more pissed off about having to spend Gil for something that I'm probably not going to be there for long. Yeah. It's only 405 anyway, it's not a massive issue. Yeah. Yeah, because what they had mentioned in, that they updated with Endwalker is it is now possible for the teleporting prices for uh, using teleportation to actually exceed 999 kill now. In fact, it actually has. So, so. Oh, fucking hell, that's bad. Yeah. I suppose, you know, it's those long-distance calls all the way to the moon. <laughs> Yeah, or to go to old, or to go to another place in there. Yeah, been to yet? I've looked at it, but I haven't been here for a while. I've heard Revenant's yeah. Toll. Yeah, it's nice. To yeah, last these time places. I think you've really been there has been probably sometime in Heaven's Ward, actually. In early Heaven's Ward as well. So, yeah, you know, early actually, and later Heaven's Ward. I think even Did we? possibly, yeah. I know we were stuck here for a while because we kept having to do the uh, the Crystal Tower series. Yeah, that was before Heaven's Void. Oh, no, actually. I'm just saying that's the last time I really remember being here, but we might have yeah. been here since then as well. Yeah, they were there a lot for the second half of Robert Borden that included the Crystal Tower series, and obviously the shit happened at the end of it that basically had him having to leave from there for a time. Hey, we're heading... Thank you very much, Bloody Banquet and Telegiala. Deli, you useless little piece of you know what. <laughs> uh, currently lying. speaking to the people in the Rising Stones. Yep. I'm, again, haven't been here for a, a good long time of it as well. Yep. Yep. Gathering info from your allies for that had to trek there from the Far East because of what happened. Yeah, I'm looking at this here, like, uh, 550,000. I think, like, if we do the quest, I'll definitely level up to 63. Almost guaranteed, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, the next one? Pardon? You mean the next one? The next what? The next quest? <laughs> uh, the next dungeon. No, uh... Oh, yeah, you'll definitely level up in the next dungeon. I mean, I should anyway, but I'm assuming, but uh, yeah, it shouldn't be any problem. Yes. Yeah, 
So you were saying earlier that um, you were going to do a session with SG, but Triforce didn't turn up. Yeah, he he basically had at both of us on his uh, FF14 server that uh, he basically I was in game doing some stuff and he was on the all character in the same world that I was on, and he said he was going to try and log in his uh, his character to see what the wait time was and or no, it wasn't that bad, so he said he was up for something and. Once I got done with what I was doing, I responded to him that, hey, I'm ready to go for one if, uh, well, then Triforce didn't get back, didn't really say anything back, and he wasn't even online then, so it's like, yeah, it's probably not going to happen. It's the only problem with, I mean, don't, you, you've you been a fucking angel with this, but it's the only problem doing, like, um, uh, not co commentary, um, co op stuff. It, 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 you know, yeah. you gotta work around other people's sh schedules, and the more people that are taking part in it, the worse it can be, so. Right, yeah. Alright, so. I mean, we can speak, you can speak from experience of back in the day more so with doing the number of those SLPHs with races with Paris, probably. Or doing anything with else with Paris. Uh, Par I, I Paris can't... wasn't a problem, like, getting him there to do the scheduling. The issue was getting fucking files or. Video. Yeah, that actually was true. It, that was uh, the main. That's always been the main problem with. Uh, yeah, Paris is getting. Stuff I know for and... some of those uh, old GP uh, classic gaming Grand Prix season ones that they did, um, or uh, portions they did that you know ones that Paris and Opi were in at the same time in particular was always problematic for schedule because you know by then Paris's work had shifted to a different time of day so he was available usually earlier rather than later because later he was at work well later is when old pie is usually the one available if that's the case so yeah. it's like but i have to find days where both of them are off <laughs> well obviously both of them work full time Paris has got a family as well it's like i don't, I don't yep. begrudge any of that obviously you know you oh, do no. things when I you mean, can you do them when you can do them right yeah I'm just about to finish off the uh, Tales from the Far East. Yeah. Uh, just picking one of these. Uh, oh, I can't actually use any of these, so I'll take... I don't even want... I don't want the Materia, though. Uh, yeah. I might, I might just get something I can sell. Alright, starting up. Not without incident. Yep. That is the quest to unlock the dungeon. Okay. Yeah, well, I think um, like we're an hour and a half in. Yeah, we'll uh, make the dungeon like the last thing we do today, because it'll be approaching two hours, yeah. I think. Yeah. And we don't even know how long it's gonna take us again to the fucking thing, so. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think the best stopping point will be after we're done with the dungeon and the cutscenes afterwards. We'll be at a well, we'll be at a new city state. We'll be at. The, the big city state of Stormblood. Uh, um, I might. The Aether, yeah, I was going to say. I'll... Current from there, just so you have it, the big one. Yeah, so I was going to say, I'll probably attune to the, uh, the Aether current thing. Uh, sorry, then... the um, Aether Ike. Yep. Uh, I'm just heading back to Limsa. So I can uh, board the ship. Yep. Yeah, I thought it would have been at a dungeon unlocked earlier, but I forgot there was a little bit of that stuff to do as part of the main scenario quest on the side that going back and gathering information from the people. Uh, the alley is not empty, by the way, people. It's just it's loading in because of uh, <laughs> the, the yeah. servers are so busy. <laughs> no, I'm glad it's Stormblood and not Robert Board, because that had been Robert Board, that freaking quest that we're talking about, that little side stuff would have been stretched out even more. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Ugh. Spent a lot of time here recently on the fucking stream one, though, fishing a lot. Ah, nice. I enjoy it. I like I like busy work, though, for some reason. I'm weird that yeah. way. Uh, yes. Fishing is definitely a relaxing thing to do when you want to do something to just chill in this game, huh? Okay, I am... At the docks, but okay, I was just waiting for them to yeah. load in. Sometimes you gotta wait for them to load in, yeah. Uh, and I don't want to go to Vespa Bay. Oh, there he is. There's Alpha. Now he's finally showing up. Yep. Mm. 
Now, I don't know if it's something I did incorrectly or something recently, but uh, I noticed the other day when I was doing like the dungeons and stuff on the stream, uh, yeah. when you kill enemies now, it doesn't actually tell you the experience in like the... Uh, the yeah, set. what happened with that is you don't get experience from killing the regular enemies in the dungeon anymore. You just get them from the bosses. Well, that's kind of bullshit. Yeah. Now, I don't know if that means they gave out the same experience as they did before or they... Well, I say increase it, but the numbers obviously got dialed back in terms of what you need to level up and your stats and all that, but... Mm. If, um... The bosses give out technically more experience than whatever they gave out before, yeah. so to speak. I don't know if this is going to have voice actor or not, but we're about to board the misery. Yep. As soon as it loads in. I am going to mute up just in case. Yep. Twelve be praised. Full sure was I that I had come too late. Uriange! Tell me you haven't come all this way just to see us off. Nay, my lady. Ere you quit these shores for eastern climes, I wished to share some words of seeming import. Look ye where the sun doth rise. See crimson embers, darkening skies. Look ye where the sun doth fall. See azure lost amidst the squall. Well, that sounds suitably foreboding. Another one of your prophecies, I presume? Of far eastern origin, I. It is mine earnest hope that this ancient wisdom may serve to guide you on your journey. For what dangers lie in wait for you upon those distant shores are yet beyond my knowing. Oh, a parting gift befitting your roundabout ways. Thank you. I have more than words for you, my lady. It's beautiful. Is it for me? Though undeniably powerful, your ethereal blade taxeth you greatly in the wielding. Not so this rapier, which shall serve you just as well against all but the most formidable foe. Impressive. It feels as though it's attuned to my ether. I shall treasure it. Honored guests, say your farewells, for the moment of our parting draws nigh. A fair wind blows, and I mean to follow it. It would seem our ship is set to sail. Pray give my regards to Thancred and the others, and take care.
A fine day, is it not? Fair winds and following seas. The misery is enjoying herself. Nevertheless, it would not do for you to spend the entirety of our voyage above deck. Let me show you to your quarters. Not under normal circumstances. Captain! You need it on deck! Something queers afoot. The winds died down, the waters went still, and all of a sudden, we were dragged off course. Dragged? By what? Can't rightly say, sir. But some of the lads are muttering about seeing things in the water. Things that shouldn't be there. Oh, love. If you will excuse me a moment. Actually, might I persuade you to join me? Loath though I am to admit it, I have a bad feeling about this. Okay, we're on the ship. In fact, you're close by now. Oh, uh, yeah. I also want to point out your hit point count currently is what the max number in most Final Fantasy games is. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Quadruple nines. That's awesome. Yup. <laughs> may have to mute up again if there's another voice acted one. No, it's not. Okay, I can keep see, talking for now. Yeah. Let me guess. A Leviathan. Uh, no. Okay, okay. I just assume maybe. No. No, we actually dealt with Leviathan back in Realm Reborn. Did we? Yep. To be fair, it's been a long time, so... Yeah. If we did, I've completely... Yeah, it's a out. dungeon, not a primal encounter, Oh, yeah, yeah, so. of course. I haven't even thought about that. Not sure how long uh, these this cuts will be uh, before we can actually start there. So I'm guessing like the um, the dungeon commences here on the ship. Uh yeah, it actually starts here on the ship. It won't be ending on the ship. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, this dungeon will have a, at least a bit of an FF5 feel to, in terms of what most of it entails. I uh, only played like a couple hours of 5, so... Yep. Uh, is it a 4-man dungeon or...? It's a 4-man, okay. yeah. Not massive. Yeah, most dungeons, yeah. all the dungeons are always 4-man, so... And we've done a couple of 8 and 16-man dungeons, though. Uh, no, uh... The eight man stuff with trials, which oh, is it's just like a so bunch. the classified as something else then. Okay. Yeah, the only thing that would not be in a four man dungeon would be like a raid dungeon, but that was just a Crystal Tower series which we had to do because well, it got included as part of the story, so which we'll eventually see comes Shadowbringers, <laughs> why that is. But yeah, Lions Raids are always 24 man, though. Oh, is it 24 man? I thought it was 16. Yep. Yep. I, th I, we, I think we've done one of those, right? Well, we actually did three 24 man ones as part of that Crystal Tower series. Uh, well, I believe, like, the Crystal Tower series should finish up in terms of, like, going public uh, November of this year. October, oh, really? October, <laughs> November, so. We'll actually... Oh, that's right, because we actually, I forgot, we did it later on. We didn't do it at the time of Realm Reborn, because back then it yeah. actually was not required yet. Yeah, we, um, 
we had to do it like halfway, I think, into Evans Ward because, like you said, it was um, it became mandatory. So 